Good Sunday evening, everyone. Welcome to this updated video on the tropics. It is Sunday evening, October 30th, 2022. Let's jump right into it, shall we? So we're going to be looking at what is now designated as potential tropical cyclone number 15. We see a lot of convection, lots of clouds still stretching all the way from the Eastern Caribbean towards the Central Caribbean. And we see right here, we see a circulation we see some spin going on right there that's the low level circulation it's right there south of hispaniola still making its way westward towards jamaica and it is still trying to get its act together if we look at the rainbow loop we see that there are some deep convection deep convection that's firing up south of haiti right there in the reds and oranges it is trying to get its act together that is why it has not been designated a tropical depression or tropical storm as yet. It is still too weak. However, it is still forecast to become a tropical storm. If not tonight at the 10 p.m. advisory, then maybe tomorrow morning at the 4 a.m. advisory. That's 4 a.m. Jamaica time. So we shall see how that unfolds. We all know that the next name on the list is Lisa. Hopefully, it is not too bad. Now, why do they call it potential tropical cyclone? They call it that because it is currently a disorganized area of low pressure. It isn't, you know, fully organized as yet to be designated as a tropical depression or a tropical storm. You now, that tropical depressions have um, wind speeds of a little bit less than 39 miles per hour. Tropical storm, anywhere between 39 miles per hour and 73 miles per hour. Let's continue. So what does a tropical storm watch mean? Because that is what Jamaica is currently under. It says sustained winds of 39 to 73 miles per hour, just like what was stated, is expected within the next 48 hours. So from now up until tomorrow and even possibly even, even into, you know, the first half of Tuesday as well. So that's what they're saying. They say that we need to bring in preparations now before or if a tropical storm warning is issued. Let's continue. Let's jump straight to windy.com, shall we? Right now, if we actually look across Jamaica, if we go back to the satellite image, we see that most of the clouds are coming in from the east or northeast. So sections of the island, such as Portland, St. Mary, St. Anne, Trelawney, St. James, have been getting clouds and showers thus Far, that's usually the case when a storm is approaching and then when the storm is you know closer to the island that's when we start to get you know the easterlies or the southeasterlies whatever the case may be so on monday this is where the euro says it is going to be located south of jamaica and we're going to be having some easterly and southeasterly um winds and clouds coming across the island bringing showers and thunderstorms and these winds will be strong and we're from you know, just like what we just saw. But what right here on windy.com, it says 25 to 30. That will be higher. Okay. Same thing on the GFS. GFS is showing something similar. And then by Tuesday on both models, it's going to be out of here. Hopefully. But we know that we're going to still have some one and two um, outer bands to bring showers and thunderstorms to the island. So we shall see what actually happened there. Now, as it relates to the earliest reasonable arrival time of tropical storm force winds, we see that it will be here by 8 a.m. 8 a.m. on Monday, 2 p.m. on Monday. That's where um, Western Jamaica is possibly going to start getting their tropical storm force wind. If we actually look back, we see, we, we usually notice that when it comes to these storms, it's usually the top right-hand corner of the storms that have the most wind. If not the center, the top right-hand corner. So they extend far out towards the top right-hand corner. And where is it going? So more than likely, some portions of Jamaica is going to be impacted by this, especially out to sea. So persons on the keys, they need to pay close attention. So here we have it right here, where the strongest winds are forecast to be throughout um, this storm's life cycle. So hopefully it, it's not as intense on land. Either way, we need to be prepared Look at this. It says the wind speed damage chart. Do you know high winds can cause severe damage to your roof? Find out what speeds will produce landscaping and structural damage. So it's a tropical storm. 
it's going to be packing these winds or wind gusts. These are the damages. These are the impacts. It can tear down tree branches and limbs. So what you should do is try to remove it. It could also remove shingles as well. Um, so what you should do is try to, you know, clip those tree branches, whatever the case may be. Do something about the shingles. It says tear down trees, uproot trees, rip off shingles. That's what 58 to 74 mile per hour winds do. That's a tr that's a high end tropical storm. Hopefully, this system does not do that. Here we have some more information regarding impact from tropical storm force wind. So we know that um, 25 to 30 miles per hour. It says here when wind speeds reach 25 miles per hour, large branches on trees will move and utility wires will sway. Aging trees are a particular risk as wheat branches may fall onto rooftops, lawns, parking lots, or streets. Walking begins to become difficult and umbrella use at this speed becomes challenging. Let's continue. 30 to 40 miles per hour. This speed of wind makes it difficult to drive a vehicle and can blow small unsecured objects such as plastic lawn furniture around. Entire trees will be in motion. 40 to 45 miles per hour. Home and business owners should secure all loose objects outside of a structure and unnecessary driving should be postponed. Tree twigs and small branches will break and walking becomes impeded. Roofs are particularly vulnerable with winds in this range as loose shingles can be lifted from structures, making water damage a likely side effect as the roof substrate becomes exposed. Let's continue, shall we? It says here 45 to... 55 mile per hour, structural damage is likely with winds over 45 miles per hour. If you are near a beach, sea spray may affect visibility and there will be high waves. Larger tree branches and weak limbs may break. And if they are located near a structure, can cause, can pose a damage risk. So we all remember, even in the summer, we had a lot of freak storms in St. Elizabeth and we had trees falling, damaging houses and whatever the case may be. These things can happen and they will be even more you know, impactful going on, considering that it is a tropical storm. 55 to 65 mile per hour, entire trees can be uprooted and significant structural damage can occur. Oftentimes, widespread power outages are reported. And you know how JPS can be. So try to get yourselves ready. Charge up your devices, whatever the case may be that you're going to be using tomorrow. Get your preparations in check. So it says tips for preventing damage from winds to minimize the impact of high winds on a structure. When strong winds or a storm is in the forecast, secure all loose objects at your home or business. This includes grills, furniture, lawn decorations, trash cans, and recycle bins. Small toys to name a few. For commercial businesses, don't forget outdoor breakaway areas with tables, umbrellas, and other amenities. Ensure your roof and windows are in good condition prior to a storm. If you haven't had your structure inspected recently, consider reaching out to a contractor for a routine inspection. Remove dead or dying trees from your property to limit the risk of damage to a nearby structure. While tree removal may seem like an unnecessary immediate expense, this can save home and business owners thousands of dollars in repair. Let's jump over to the computer models. This is the euro. As predicted, it's supposed to go to the west, going right into Belize as a possible hurricane, as the NHC forecasted. So to the GFS, it looks like Jamaica will be spared the worst, as most of it will be passing south. Regardless, we still have a lot of rain to get, especially along the southern portion, southern and eastern portions of the island. So areas like St. Elizabeth, Clarendon, Manchester, St. Catherine, Kingston, St. Andrew, St. Thomas, and Portland, Jamaica. Same thing on the GFS. So this the, both maps are showing basically where it's going to be raining from now up until 8 p.m. on Monday. So lots of flooding is possible, you know, landslides, mudslides, mud whatever the case may be. We just need to ensure that we get ourselves ready. All right, let's look at the satellite image for this afternoon. We see where these clouds are what we actually got this afternoon, just like what was predicted on whether Jamaica, Eastern Central, Western Parishes got some amount of rainfall. And now we can actually see some of these low-level clouds coming in from the northeast to affect sections of northern and eastern parishes starting tonight into tomorrow. 
So hopefully we all get our preparations in check so that we're not affected that drastically by the system. Hope that we all stay safe, my fellow Jamaicans. Do take care.